dear students now i am going to take up the chapter on bakery sanitation and personal hygiene you know this chapter is very very important you may prepare very good materials but if personal hygiene and sanitation is not well maintained your product will not be of good quality and no would no one would like to take those products if one gets a chance to visit the kitchen where the things are being produced therefore sanitary practices personal hygiene you must have knowledge about it how it can be maintained very well you know the word sanitation it has been derived from the latin word sanitas sanitas means health this word is applied to food industry sanitation which means the creation and maintenance of hygiene and healthful conditions during processing preparation and handling of food food sanitation is an applied sanitary science related to processing preparation and handling of the food sanitation application involves hygienic practices to maintain a clean and wholesome environment for food production storage and preparation food to mean this proper sanitation is very very important to ensure food safety if hygienic practices are not followed they can lead to outbreaks of food borne infections and illnesses bakery sanitation can also be defined as cleanliness of the surroundings of the machines and hygiene of the persons the way they handle the things this utmost cleanliness and sanitation is not only important factor but it is absolutely indispensable this applies to bakery products it applies to delivery equipments sales room and of course hygiene of all the employees involved in preparing the products if we prepare a product in the clean atmosphere and handle that in a sanitary manner will definitely will have more customer appeal it will also affect the color and taste of the products now first of all i will talk about personal hygiene what is personal hygiene the word hygiene is used to describe a system of sanitary principles for the preservation of health personal hygiene refers to cleanliness of the person's body health of the worker plays very important role in the food sanitation because people are the potential sources of microorganisms which can cause diseases and which can uh, transmit the viruses bacteria and cause food poisoning therefore every baker has a part to play in hygienic practices so as to minimize the possibilities of infection through the bakery goods he prepares first of all the employees hygiene is very important in the bakery industry those employees who are not having good health they should not be in contact with the food or in contact with the equipments and 
utensils to be used in processing, preparation, serving and storage of the food. Human illness that may be transmitted through food are diseases of the respiratory tract, for example, common cold, sore throat, pneumonia, scarlet fever, tuberculosis, trench mouth, etc. Other transmittable uh, diseases, they are intestinal disorders, dysentery, typhoid fever, infectious hepatitis. When the employee becomes ill, the bacterial count increases, bacterial count of the pathogenic microorganisms, infective organisms rises and source of contamination increases dramatically. Even when evidence of illness passes, some of the microorganisms that cause the illness may remain as a source of contamination. Diseases then can be spread directly or it can be spread indirectly too. To maintain personal hygiene, one should follow certain guidelines like if an employee is ill, he should immediately report to the employer before working with the food so that work adjustment can be made to protect the food from employee's illness or disease. Hygienic work habit, work culture should be developed so as to avoid potential contamination in the food. During the work shift, everybody should wash hands after using the toilet, handling the garbage or other spoiled materials, handling uncooked muscle foods, egg products or dairy products, handling money, smoking, coughing and sneezing. Personal cleanliness should also be maintained by daily bathing, use of deodorants, washing hair at least twice a week, Cleaning the fingernails daily. Use hat or hairnet when handling the food. Wearing clean underclothing and uniforms. The hands of the employees should not directly touch the food service equipments and utensils. They should wear disposable gloves when contact is necessary. Never return a tasting spoon of food without washing it. And do not lick the finger when cooking or baking. Rules such as no smoking should be followed and other precautions related to potential contamination should be taken. All the employees on duty they should be fresh, well-groomed, clean, not half asleep or unkempt in appearance. Infection is easily transferred from hair, nose and mouth. Therefore, comb should be kept out of each other. They should always wear head gear so as to avoid hair fall in the food. Spitting or smoking should be outside the kitchen area. In the kitchen area, smoking, spitting should be strictly prohibited. When sneezing, while handling the food, the face should be away from the food and handkerchief or tissue should be used. In refilling the cups or glasses, 
never allow the container from which the liquid is poured to touch the rims. Every baker should have a first aid box in case of any accident, cuts or burns in the kitchen area. Periodical health examination of all the employees should be done because it will protect the health of the customers indirectly. Then how transmission of foodborne diseases and spoilage microorganisms takes place? There is a chain of reaction. Chain of reaction, I mean it is a series of related events or factors that must exist to occur and be linked together before an infection will occur. These links can be identified as agent, source, mode of transmission and host. The essential links in any infectious process must be included in such a chain. The causative factors that are necessary for the transmission of bacterial foodborne diseases involve first of all transmission of the causative agent from the environment in which the food has been produced or processed or prepared then a source of reservoir of transmission for each agent then transmission of the agent from the source to a food the next growth spot of the organism through the food or host that has been contaminated like this this chain of infection is formed Conditions such as required moisture, pH, oxidation reduction potential, lack of competitive microorganisms, lack of inhibitors, they must also exist so that the contaminants can survive and grow. Contaminant food must remain in a suitable temperature range for a sufficient time period for the growth of the organisms causing the infection or intoxication. Uh, then what are the sources? What are the sources uh, of contamination and what uh, preventive measures we can take to prevent those contamination? The most important contamination source is the food itself. If raw products are not handled properly in a sanitary way, they will become contaminated, they will support the microbial growth which can cause diseases. Contamination from ingredients. Ingredients are the potential vehicles of harmful or potential harmful organisms and toxins. The amount of these agents vary with the place, they vary with the method of harvesting, type of the ingredients, processing techniques and handling. Food plant management team should be aware of the hazards connected to these important incoming ingredients and they should limit the procurement of such supplies and materials to those that confirm to recognized good services, good practices in harvesting, processing and handling of these important materials. If raw ingredients are of animal origin, for example, milk, curd, cream, egg, they are major concern of all ingredients because they can be contaminated very easily and lot of care has to be taken while handling and processing these perishable food items. Milk. Factors affecting the sanitary 
quality of milk may be reflected in the bacterial count include health of the cow health and hygiene of the food handler bar utensil sanitation speed and degree of cooling time of holding pasteurization all these factors are responsible whether the milk can be spoiled or not by the microorganisms egg cool storage of egg at all times reduces the a chances of shell penetration if shells are washed before breaking the hazard is small never use stale eggs as they are of low quality then another source of infection contamination is equipment utensils equipments can be instrumental in the contamination of food contamination of equipment occurs during the production as well as when the equipment is even uh, lying idle even with hygienic design features equipment can collect microorganisms and other debris from the air as well as from the employees and materials during the production reduction in the production contamination from equipments can be achieved through improved hygienic design and effective cleaning of the equipment cleaning and care of the pans baking sheets bread pans buns or roll baking sheets they should always be kept clean and in good condition after the use pans should be thoroughly clean I mean they should be wiped clean with the dry cloth so as to remove all kinds of traces of grease burnt crumbs sugar oil etc then they should be carefully stacked so as to avoid denting and exposure to any other form of dirt and foreign matter at frequent intervals it is desirable to wash the pans in the dilute solution of either detergent or trisodium phosphate solution which is uh, mildly alkaline salt and may be produced under many brand names in making up of such a solution 60 g should be used per 4 liters of hot water pans should be allowed to soak for 1 to 2 hours in the cleaning solution care should be taken to protect the hands and clothing from such solutions rubber gloves should be worn and after the treatment the pans should be rinsed with the clean hot water so that any kind of traces of uh, grease or debris or any kind of foreign material is there that is removed after washing the pans baking sheets they are to be dried and then re-greased before using if the pans they have become exceptionally very dirty and sticky a more vigorous washing and scrubbing is to be carried out if necessary always keep all the pans baking sheets in the clean condition because they are responsible for producing uniform high quality bakery products if they are not cleaned from time to time the oil film coating on the inner side and corners of the pan they may become rancid due to oxidation and can impart such of flavor to the products which have been baked in those pans and baking sheets undesirable result in imparting a very objectionable flavor and taste is not desirable this is not required 
when pans baking tins they are not in use they should be washed cleaned properly and then they should be stacked properly and kept aside in the store the pan baking sheets should be stored in the dry place where there is no condensation of steam and uh, they should not get moistened then next in the sources of contamination is employees of all the viable sources of exposing microorganisms to food employers are the largest contamination source employees through their unsanitary practices can contaminate the food with spoilage and pathogenic microorganisms that they come in contact with various parts of the body for example hands hair nose mouth they can harbor the microorganisms and then they can be transferred to the food during the processing preparation packaging service by touching breathing coughing or sneezing because of the warm temperature supplied by the human body therefore microorganisms if they enter the human body they proliferate rapidly especially if the hygienic practices are not followed and they can cause illness air and water although water serves as the cleaning medium during the sanitation operation it is also an ingredient added in various Uh, processed food formulations but at the same time it can serve as a source of contamination too to reduce the water contamination sample should be tested from time to time for microbial load if excessive contamination exists another water source should be obtained or water from existing so- source should be treated with certain chemicals as with water contamination can result in airborne infections in food processing packaging storage and preparation in area therefore the place should be well ventilated water use should be pure and clean sewage if raw sewage drains or flow into potable water lines well rivers lakes ocean bays water and living organisms such as seafood they get contaminated to prevent this kind of contamination pipes and septic tanks they should be sufficiently separated from the walls steams and other bodies of the water the toilet should be well lighted and ventilated there should be separate urinals for males and females with adequate arrangement for cleaning then insects and rodents flies cockroaches they are associated with mankind living since long they eat the food of the establishments and they infect the food processing facilities and they are generally found in the toilets garbage and other filth to stop contamination from these pests eradication is very necessary food processing preparation service area should be protected against deer entry rats and mice rodents they can transmit filth and disease if they are not eradicated and 
measures should be taken to contaminate to eradicate uh, rat and mice for example through exclusion traps poison baits poisonous gases or dust to have uh, sanitation in the bakery unit one must use sanitizers and insecticides insecticides there are two types of insecticides non residual and residual non residual insecticides exert their effect only at the time of treatment generally applied as space foggers or contact spray natural or synthetic pyrethrins with the synergizer they can be applied in food areas when raw material and finished products are covered during treatment residual insecticides maintain their effect for several days and even longer and they are applied on the walls cracks and crevices then cleaning and sanitary material whenever we are applying any sanitary material one should follow the manufacturer's instructions before application especially recommendation about the dilution rate never blend different types of detergents together because one can neutralize the action of other in market various types of uh, detergents are available for example certain detergents they are alkaline in nature they prevent the mineral scale up in brew tanks tempering tanks and water coolers chlorinated caustic and alkaline they enhance cleanliness and discoloration but can they can also corrode the um, equipments made from mild steel aluminum or galvanized iron there are some sanitizers they are neutral they are used where the surface deterioration has taken place acidic sanitizers they remove mineral scale up build up solvent based they remove the accumulated grease due to the fat but care should be taken so as to avoid taint contamination of the product as far as possible dry cleaning uh, method may be followed rather than uh, applying detergent solutions this is because the dry cleaning does not encourage the growth of molds and bacteria whereas the wet cleaning may follow or may allow microorganisms to multiply and cause cross infestation and contamination sanitizers selection of the appropriate sanitizer for a given situation should be carried out with recommendation and advice of the leading manufacturer some common sanitizers are hypochlorites desanitary ammonia idofors hypochlorites they are of broad spectrum activity inexpensive easy to use but the disadvantage is that they are corrosive in nature irritate the skin noticeable odor is there desanitary ammonium they are non corrosive they don't have any flavor they are not irritating but they are not effective against certain bacteria idofors they are non corrosive non irritable but fairly expensive form dark color with starch the ideal sanitizer 
should have microbial destruction properties. That is very, very important. Effective sanitizer should be uniform. It should have broad spectrum against the vegetative bacteria, fungi, molds. It should be effective in the presence of organic matter, detergent in soap, uh, residues. Day-to-day -day bake house should collect the garbage, fungus, market returns in plastic covers and deposit them in the push cart of the bakery. Wherever bakery attendants arrive, throw them only in the garbage bins and then they burn in the uh, incinerator. It is the primary duty of every employee to keep his unit clean, to preserve the beauty of bakery, maintenance efforts are not sufficient let everybody in the bakery unit should resolve to maintain the beauty and cleanliness of the bakery besides sanitation bakery units they should have certain safety measures also for example fencing and covering of all dangerous parts of the machinery while they are in use Covering of all pits, openings, which can be the source of danger, causing new machinery, and caching and gardening, guarding of every set of screws, bolts, spindles, wheels, periodical examination of appliances, plants, such as hoist, lifts, cranes, chains, pressure vessels, supply of safety line, appliances, for example, goggles, safety boots, gloves, all the necessary precautions should be taken against fire, dangerous fumes, risk of injury to the eyes, lifting of excessive weight, excessive speed of revolving machinery. All the lifts, lifting machine chains, ropes, they should be of good mechanical strength. Sound material, they are to be maintained properly examined thoroughly by the competent person approved by the government once in six months and registers should be kept for recording of particularly of each examination they are not to be loaded beyond the capacity hoists and lifts are also to be sufficiently protected by enclosures fitted with gates Women and young persons, unskilled workmen should not be allowed to clean, lubricate or adjust any part of the engine or electric motor. Such work is to be done by the specially tra trained adult skilled male workers wearing tight uh, fitted clothes. Young persons should not be allowed to work on any dangerous machine without adequate training and supervision. Adequate number of fire extinguishers, water and sand buckets, they should be provided inside the mixing, baking and uh, dispatching section. Handling of the extinguishers are to be handled by taking adequate Training through National Safety Council. All the fire extinguishers, they should be inspected periodically and they should be supervised time to time. All these factors are very important for the safety of the employees. I think everybody must be clear about this chapter. And uh, if anything is not clear, you can write to me. I can further explain to you. Thank you. Thank you so much.